parents and students around the state learned the news about the mask requirement being lifted just as school was getting out this afternoon. Lauren Steinbrecher right now at West Jordan Middle School where people have been talking about the announcement, Lauren. Yeah, Kelly and Bob, so people actually really didn't even know about the announcement, couldn't even really talk about it until I told them. They just hadn't heard about it yet when school was getting out. So when I was asking them, I was getting some uh, initial first reactions, a little bit mixed, but the school, Jordan School District decided less than an hour ago that they are going to go with the governor's order, which means no masks for that last week. Now, some parents say, hey, that's awesome, and if the state and the district are on board with that than they are too. Others say it doesn't matter what the district decides. They still think it's a little weird. It's a little shocking to have this news come and they still want their kids to keep those masks on to finish out the year. Yeah, it'd be awesome. I know, I know the kid would be. <laughs> He'd be like, yes. <laughs> My kids will wear a mask till the end of the year. I've already warned them and told them so. <laughs> that will be what we do. Especially my mom says that I'll wear it then. Then I'll wear it. So if mom says to wear it, you'll listen to her? Yeah. Now students tell me it would be nice to see their classmates and friends. Uh, full face, not just from the eyes up, even if it is for the last week. But for them, it really is a sign of next year, which they've all been looking toward, and they really hope that next fall masks will be gone for good. Now, the Jordan School District says that no mask uh, will uh, carry out to graduation, so people don't have to wear masks at graduation, but they add that anybody who still wants to wear a mask, whether it's at school or at those events, may still do so. Live in West Jordan, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah. Lauren, thank you. Fox 13 News is reaching out to Utah's 41 school districts. We've heard back from a few. Alpine, Davis, Salt Lake City, and Beaver County are still reviewing plans. Canyons and Weaver will... I'm sorry, start requiring masks. Uh, Jordan schools will lift requirements on May 28th, Granite schools on June 1st, and the Washington School District had already decided to drop the requirement on May 